Welcome, people of Planet Earth and all planets beyond. Welcome to Heat Check, powered by Defunct.com. This is the highest-selling t-shirts on eBay over the last two weeks. Let's take a look at the list. All right, at number 10, we have the vintage 80s Santa Cruz Skate Rob Roscop t-shirt. This one is super dope. Uh, obviously, any of these like super early skateboard t-shirts with uh, like cu uh, custom artwork are going to do really well. Uh, this is wild. Uh, obviously, pretty thrashed and dirty, but this is kind of like a little piece of history, to be honest, in a lot of ways, especially in the skateboard world. Uh, so, super cool tee. Look at that. For, uh, by Santa Cruz. That's so dope. Um, on the Stedman uh, Super High Crew. Uh, size XL is great. I don't know the measurements, but my guess is like 20 inches um, across the chest. Um, this one's super dope. Uh, this one sold for $1,200. All right, coming in at number nine, we have the 1990s Gangstar Hard to Earn Mass Appeal Wrap Tee. This one's super dope. Uh, looks like it's single stitch, probably. Um, uh, hard to earn here. We have mass appeal back the super sick gangster on the back a nice back hit as well uh, This one sold for twelve hundred and fifty dollars uh, Like the sizes here. It's a bigger size. It says size XL, but these are typically a little bit uh, uh, Run a bit bigger. So uh, super dope t-shirt. We've not seen this t-shirt on the high uh, the heat check before so it's pretty cool to see then at number eight, we have seen this t-shirt before, uh, but not in this condition. This one is actually new with tags, uh, which is pretty pretty interesting. We, again, we don't see that very often. I think they make note, no, note of that here. Um, let's take a look here. Yeah, I mean, that's a little uh, blurry there. Uh, but there's a winter, Winterland tag, so really nice condition. Um, it's, let's see if they say anything about been tested multiple places for dry rot so apparently there's no dry rot uh, so that is good because that's what you'd be really concerned about so hard to say you'd find a better version of this t-shirt especially in XL so uh, super cool this one also sold for twelve hundred and fifty dollars now at seven we have what is gonna end up being sort of a theme uh, throughout the heat check here because uh, Marvel Tees did pop off in a big way this week. We haven't seen Marvel Tees this strong in a while, so this is pretty cool to see. Here we have the Ghost Rider 2099, number one, uh, all over print. This one looks like it's old stock, so this thing has like, never been worn. It's still have the stickers on it. Looks like it's correct. Size large, good size. Um, I mean, you can't get much better than these t-shirts. These t-shirts are just incredible. Uh, this one particularly is super dope. Uh, oh, an amazing t-shirt. I think that's the hit on both sides. It's the same. Yeah. Now this one sold for $1,300. Now another t-shirt we have seen on this list. It is the 1987 3D emblem Harley Davidson. The South is where it's at t-shirt. Uh, this one we have seen a number of times and it, it does typically go pretty high. And it did so in this case, selling for $1,410. Uh, this one often uh, is probably the most sought at, or not sought after, but one of the harder ones to find, especially in this condition. Uh, oftentimes eBay will take it down once they see the Confederate flag on there, so it's hard to sell. Uh, but this one it did make it through and it did sell. Then at number six, we have one that kind of threw me off for a second because uh, the white balance on this, I think, is just really, really off. At first, I was like, I've never seen the, the brown version of this t-shirt. But then you go to the next photo, which is uh, better uh, white balance. Then you can see that it is actually black. Um, you go back through it, and again, the 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 balance is off again. But, man, it threw me off for a second because I don't think I'd ever seen that, that brown one before. Uh, but this one we have seen a few times on this list, but still, it's a really good one. Um, uh, normally, uh, we've actually seen this one go for quite a bit lower, so uh, it is cool to see this one go for a, a decent amount here. This one did sell for $1,430 with 18 bids. Uh, it is a size large. Probably could have uh, done a little bit better with a better uh, uh, listing title, but that's all right. Uh, still did really well. Um, and the photo, obviously, is not brown, so you just <laughs> got to be careful for that. Still, great t-shirt. So, uh, awesome. Congratulations, buyer and seller. Now at number four, I did say Marvel's gonna show up in a big way. Here is another one of those ways. We have the Captain America comic images from the mid to late 90s. I'm not sure which one this is from. Yeah, this is from 96. Uh, this one looks like it's basically new. Like, wow, like, like it's incredible 
incredible condition. Size XL, which is a great size. Could have used a bit more in terms of photos, but I mean, you do, it does get the job done. Um, this one went at, uh, at auction, had 33 bids and sold for $1,613. Uh, so, uh, big, big Marvel t-shirt here. This one's more, one of the more rare designs and it's an incredibly cool design as well. At number three, we have probably the youngest t-shirt uh, we've had on this list, to be honest, now that I think about it, and definitely the highest a, a, a t-shirt of this age has ever gone. They have the 2003 Dipset Diplomatic Immunity, what's really good, promo tee in a double XL. Uh, yeah, this is probably the youngest t-shirt we've ever had make the list. It, it's pretty dope. Um, pretty surprised to see it. I mean, it's, it's, it, it's a rare tee. You're not going to see it very often. Uh, so uh, people, you know, make their move when they can, uh, but uh, definitely young uh, relative to a lot of the t-shirts we typically see on here. So, but that's still pretty cool. This one did sell for $2,000. At number two, we have, at number two, we have one that's, I don't know, kind of controversial, kind of interesting. Uh, I'm a little bit suspicious to, to a degree because uh, it doesn't seem like it makes a whole lot of sense, uh, but then again, there is something to be said about it. Uh, it is, it does appear to be from the period, so it's a period piece. So I, I don't know. Anyway, we have the vintage, not licensed, custom like airbrushed Nirvana tribute tee. According to the description, uh, the person had it made in the summer of '94. There's no one like it, um, and so this was a tribute to him. Uh, it, again, hard to really say like what's really going on here because this is not a licensed piece, so it is a, a one of one, you know, for all intents and purposes. But the price is what really get me got me here. So the price it sold for is what it says here, uh, according to the research and the sources. It did sell for two thousand four hundred eighty-five dollars. I will put an asterisk on that and just say I. Though it does look like the transaction did go through, money was actually paid for the T-shirt. I does I don't understand it, but uh, I don't understand all things. That's for sure. And uh, Nirvana, Kurt Cobain uh, collector uh, might have found this uh, just really really interesting, and especially being that it's a period piece, uh, decided to add it to their collection. So uh, really cool T-shirt. Uh, I don't necessarily know that there. I mean, maybe there's a history of some of these other ones going for that much, but. Seems pretty wild to me, but uh, that is the world of vintage t-shirts. Now, before we get to number one, remember, don't buy a fake. Use the Legitimate app to verify and authenticate your vintage t-shirts. Use code LOOTFAM to get 25% off your authentication. Then at number one, we have another Marvel t-shirt. This is one of the uh, comic images. Women of Marvel, I believe, is what they titled it here. I think that's probably what this goes by. Um, I'm not gonna lie and act like I know who all these people are. Maybe that one of them is Jubilee uh, They look like a little bit more anime than they normally would have. I'm not entirely sure um, But what I am sure of is that this is an incredible uh, really rare t-shirt, but also an incredible price paid uh, the uh, auction went 40 bids deep and sold for two thousand nine hundred and ten dollars uh, to top the list this week, uh, Loop, one of one, also hit this one. Uh, so incredibly cool t-shirt here. Uh, great sale price and uh, a rare one out there for sure. But dang, it definitely made the list big time. So congratulations to the buyer and the seller for such a great tee. And that is the Heat Check Top 10. Thank you guys for watching. We'll see you guys in the next one.